George Reeves was an actor who captivated audiences with his charismatic presence and powerful performances. Best known for his portrayal of the Man of Steel in the 1950s television series Adventures of Superman, Reeves brought a sense of humanity and relatability to the iconic superhero. But there was more to Reeves than just his superhero persona. He had a passion for acting that spanned decades, appearing in over 40 films before his untimely death in 1959. Though his life was cut tragically short, his legacy lives on through his enduring performances and the impact he made on the world of entertainment. In this introduction, we'll delve into the life and career of George Reeves, exploring the highs and lows of his journey to becoming one of Hollywood's most beloved icons. Once upon a time in Woodstock, Iowa, a baby boy was born on January 5, 1914. His name was George Kiefer Brewer, and he was the son of Helen Lesher and Don C. Brewer, a pharmacist. When George was still young, his parents' marriage came to an end and his mother Helen took him back to her hometown of Galesburg. Meanwhile, his father Don remained in Iowa and married another woman named Helen C. Schultz. They had two children together. Years passed and George's father, Don, passed away on February 18, 1969, at the age of 79. Unfortunately, he never got to see his first child, George, again. As for George and his mother, they eventually moved to Pasadena, California. It was there that Helen married Italian-American Frank Joseph Besolo. George was just 14 years old at the time, but he took his stepfather's name and became known as George Besolo. However, Helen's marriage to Frank didn't last, and she divorced him in 1932. Despite the upheaval in his personal life, George was determined to pursue his dreams. He started out as a heavyweight boxer in amateur matches before attending Pasadena Junior College. It was there that he discovered a passion for acting and began studying drama. George honed his craft by performing in numerous productions at the Pasadena Playhouse, where he met actress Eleonora Robinson Needles. She came from a well-known circus family and would eventually become his wife. George and Eleonora tied the night on the evening of September 21, 1940, at the Church of Our Savior in San Marino, California. Their wedding was a modest affair with George's friend and fellow actor John Wilcox serving as best man and Eleonora's uncle John Stevens walking her down the aisle. Sadly, after a decade of marriage, the couple decided to part ways and they divorced in October of 1950. Despite their lengthy marriage, they had no children together. In 1939, George landed his first film credit for his role in the opening scenes of the iconic film Gone with the Wind. With his hair dyed a bright red, he portrayed Stuart Tartleton, one of the Tartleton twins who were both vying for the affections of Scarlett O'Hara. George's role was minor, and he was mistakenly credited as Brent Tartleton. Nonetheless, his brief appearance in the epic film gave his career a much-needed boost. At the time, it seemed as if stardom was just around the corner for the aspiring actor. However, as fate would have it, it would take a bit longer for him to become a household name. George Rees was over the moon when he received his first film credit for his performance in the opening scenes of Gone with the Wind in 1939. His role was very minor, but it gave his fledgling movie career a boost. Soon after, he signed a contract with Warner Brothers Studio and changed his professional surname from Besolo to Reeves, which had a more Hollywood-sounding appeal. During the early 1940s, while at Warner Brothers, Reeves appeared in B-films and Hope Along Cassidy westerns. However, in 1942, he was offered a big break and was cast in the lead male role in So Proudly We Hell, directed by Mark Sandrick. The movie chronicles the experiences of a group of nurses returning from the war in the Philippines. Reeves won acclaim for his performance as Lieutenant John Summers opposite such prominent female stars as Claudette Colbert, Veronica Lake, and Paulette Goddard when the movie was released in 1943. With World War II raging, George Reeves was drafted into the United States Army in 1943. He served in the Army Air Corps as a member of the Special Theatrical Unit and performed in the United States Army Air Force's Broadway show, Winged Victory. He then appeared in training and recruiting films such as Last Will and Testament of Tom Smith. After completing his military service, George returned to Hollywood to resume his film career. However, after the war, he found it difficult to land leading roles in quality films. He did, however, land a role in the Academy Award-winning blockbuster From Here to Eternity as Sergeant Malin Stark. 
The classic film was released in 1953, but Reeves' role was only a minor one. George Reeves was a frustrated actor who found it difficult to find quality film roles after returning from serving in the U.S. Army Air Corps during World War II. He decided to head to New York in search of work in the growing television industry. Fortunately, he was offered the lead role of Superman in the feature film Superman and the Mole Men. Little did Reeves know that this film would launch him into television stardom. The Adventures of Superman, starring George Reeves as the Man of Steel, debuted on American television in 1952 and became one of the most popular shows of the 1950s. Children loved Reeves' portrayal of the superhero, and the syndicated series, sponsored by Kellogg Cereal, was a huge success. During its six seasons from 1952 to 1958, 104 episodes were produced. Reeves and other cast members even appeared in commercials for Kellogg's products, with Reeves portraying Clark Kent in television ads for Sugar Frosted Flakes. Reeves' role as Superman brought him great fame and success, but unfortunately, it also led to his tragic end. Before the launch of the Superman television series, George Reeves started a romantic relationship with Tony Mannix, a former Ziegfeld Follies showgirl who was almost eight years older than him. Tony was married to Eddie Mannix, the general manager of Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios, who reportedly approved of their affair. Interestingly, Eddie himself had a Japanese mistress and was rumored to have links to the mob. After the adventures of Superman ended, George Reeves struggled to find good roles due to typecasting. However, his fortunes seemed to improve in 1959 as there were reports that the producers of the show planned to film another season for syndication, which was scheduled to begin in 1960. George ended his relationship with Tony Mannix and started dating Lenore Lemon, a socialite from New York. However, tragedy struck on June 16, 1959, when Reeves was found dead in his Beverly Hills home. He had suffered a gunshot wound to the head. Although the official cause of death was ruled a suicide, many questions lingered. Some speculated that Reeves was murdered, while others believed that the shooting may have been accidental. Additionally, the circumstances surrounding his death raised suspicions about his relationship with Tony Mannix, the wife of Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios' general manager and his former lover. Despite the unanswered questions, Reeves' death marked the end of an era for fans of the Man of Steel. He had become a beloved cultural icon through his portrayal of Superman and had left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Rest in peace, Superman George Reeves. Goodbye.